Hi, this is the lecture about mixed series questions. Uh, till now we have seen a lot of different types of series like alphabet series questions, number series questions. Now let's talk about mixed series questions. Here we, there are no rules. Okay, Whatever does not fall in the above categories, the, the alphabet series questions and the number series questions, we'll put them in the mixed series questions. The only thing here is that you are given a progression of alphabets or numbers or characters and you have to identify what will come next. That's the whole format. So you'll have entity 1, probably entity 2, entity 3, entity 4 and so on and probably entity number n will be missing and from the options you have to choose which is the missing entity. So let's take some examples. Suppose you are given a question like this. Now what will be the missing number here? 1, 2, 3, 4. We get to understand that the next number should be 5 because the next number is determined by adding 1 to the previous number. Fine. That's it. How about now? Here, if we are you know very good with numbers, or even if we are we are average with numbers, we can clearly see that this is the list of the prime numbers: 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. In the next prime number, the next prime natural number is 17. How about a question like this? Again, we are just adding 5 to the next number. So we will have 35 plus 5, 40. But take a look at this one. Clearly, these are multiples of 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. The next one will be 21. These are easy ones. Let's take a look at a couple of difficult ones. Now, if you take a look at this series and I ask you what will come next, it will be a problem for you. So how do you solve this? Now, this is why I always say in series questions, you need a lot of practice. Because if you have not seen something like this before, then you will have to sit back and probably think how is this going forward. Whereas since you have seen from your childhood 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or probably 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So you can understand, okay, this is a multiple of 3. This is just uh, an addition of 1 in the last number. But here you get stumped. Here you, you stop. Because you have not seen something like this before. If had you practiced, you would have. Now all the, the series is doing is, it's forget the first two numbers here, but take a look at the rest ones. This number is obtained when I add 0 plus 1. This number is obtained when I add 1 plus 1. This number is obtained when I add 1 plus 2. This number is obtained when I add 2 plus 3. This number is obtained when I add 3 plus 5. And again, this number is obtained when I add 5 plus 8. So what is happening here is that we are adding the last two numbers and that gives us the next or the subsequent number. So when I add 13 plus 8, that becomes 21. Now let's take a look at an alphabetical question. Um, how do you solve this one? You see A, D, C, F, E, F. Now this is no normal progression. It is not going uh, in the forward direction, neither it is going in the backward direction. There is certainly a jump here, then a jump here, then a jump here. So you have to understand the pattern. How do you understand the pattern? So that is the most important question. You have a plus three position jump. Then you have a minus one position jump. Same. 
see a plus 3 okay when i say a is the first position then a is the first position we move three positions ahead b c d so we get 3 plus 3 now we go minus 1 so we'll get c now we have to go again plus 3 so d e f now go minus 1 so you'll get e now let's go again plus 3 f g h so h should be your correct answer so this is how you solve mixed series questions Move on to the practice sheet, try making the pattern out in the questions, best of luck.